I'm now going to draw my pharaoh. To start, I'm going to start with two hills or two curved lines down in the middle of my paper, as middle as I can get. I'm going to add those with a happy face. Happy face. Inside, I'm going to do two curved lines to the left and two to the right for the inside of my eye. And I'm going to draw little circles for the reflections inside my eyeball and another circle around that. This circle, you'll get to color whatever you want when it's time to color. If I look at my eyeballs, they're a little off, so I'm going to I'm going to do a little fixing here. This guy's a little too big. Make him a little smaller to match the other one. To add on to my eyes, I'm going to give them these little curved lines. And I'm going to make this darker by coloring in. Same thing on top of the eye. Make it a little darker. Pharaohs would wear makeup to make them look richer. So they would have these little wings, which are known as like Egyptian wings in makeup now because they started with Egyptians. If you look at even pictures of ancient Egyptians, both men and women, pharaohs and queens, wore makeup to symbolize their richness. So again, I'm just drawing that little curve off of the eyeball and making it a little thicker at the top. There's my pencil. After I've got my two eyes, above the eyes, I'm gonna draw two curved lines for my eyebrows. To make them look like actual eyebrows instead of just curved lines, I'm going to draw another curved line right on top of that. I'm going to fix this one and make it a little bit more pointed. There. Now I'm going to do the bridge of my nose, which are the sides of your nose. So I'm going to start at this end of the eyebrow and curve down around the eye. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to bring them down just a little farther. On the ends of my nose, and I think it curves in too much. It's going to make me a very wide nose, so I'm going to go a little bit farther straight down instead of too curvy. I'm going to draw a little curve line on the corners of each end, and then I'm going to connect this with another curve for my nostrils. Again, see how I'm erasing in between? If I make a mistake, I just erase what I don't like and try it again. After that, if you touch beneath your nose, you have this little curve line that kind of like starts the curve of your lips. So I'm going to draw two little lines, kind of curving out. I'm going to connect them with the curve line. This is going to be that curved top of my lip. And then I'm going to curve to the right, curve to the left. After that, I'm going to connect it, the curved line, and another curved line for my lips. Now that my face is done, I need to actually make it look like a face. So I'm going to draw the letter U around my face. And I'm going to start where the eyebrows are on each side. From here, I'm going to connect the top of it for the top of my crown. If you remember when we looked at pictures of pharaohs, you never saw their hair. Their hair was completely covered with the crown. So I'm going to start by doing a curved line at the top, connecting the two lines. And from there, where those two lines started, straight line up, straight line up for the front of my crown. From there, I'm going to draw another curved line connecting. This is where I can start to decorate my crown however I'd like. I remember a lot of the crowns had like these curvy lines coming out because they symbolize looking like a snake or an animal. And if you remember pharaohs, they idolized animals and thought they were gods. So they included them in a lot of things that they wore or had. So I'm going to decorate that first. Again, you don't have to do anything I'm doing. These are just ideas. Then you can start to decorate your crown. I think of all of those squares and like the stripes. So I'm going to do some rectangle patterns. You can do whatever you want. You can do circles, ovals, triangles, um, just zigzag lines, wavy lines, whatever kind of design you want to do. And remember, you have your sketchbook to look at too. So now that I have my crown design, I need the sides of my crown. So from the top here, 
I'm going to draw a curve line almost all the way up to the edge of the paper down to just below my chin. Do it here. Same thing on the other side. I'm not going to give my pharaoh a beard, but you're welcome to it. It would just be two straight lines down. I'll show you what that looks like really lightly. With a circle on the end. And then you can decorate the beard however you want. Remember, they would wear fake beards, again, to make them look like they're rich. If you don't want a beard, don't do that. I'm going to just stick with the neck. So on the sides of my face, I'm going to draw two straight lines coming down for the neck. I'm going to connect the neck with a curved line because I'm going to draw some jewels down here. I'm going to bring my head, dress my crown down, and draw a straight line all the way across to my neck. And from there, I'm going to draw these curved lines. And notice mine come off the page because I drew my neck a little big, but you could make your neck a little smaller if you wanted to make more curved lines. And I'm going to go all the way off until I run into the end of my crown. So these are going to be my jewels. Then I'm going to do one curve to the right and curve to the left for my shoulders. So now I'm ready to decorate the rest of it. So again, I just curved off the pages for those. I'm going to decorate my crown the same way I decorated the top with those rectangles that are kind of sticking out to make those stripes. Again, you can decorate it however you want. You can do the same pattern you did at the top, or you can change it and do a different pattern. I'm going to do the same thing with my jewels. I'm going to use shapes, though, to make them look like jewels. I'm also going to draw a triangle and a triangle, and it makes a diamond. All right. Now my fairway is completely designed.